Hello friends, my name is Jasmine and I'm an illustrator and today we're gonna go over a question that has been asked on my channel a few times by you guys. How to use Upwork as a freelance illustrator. I posted a video a while ago about tips on finding freelance illustration work. One of those tips I recommended using Upwork. Now for today's video, we're gonna go over how exactly do I use Upwork to find illustration work. Why is a video needed for this? Well, for mostly because Upwork is kind of a confusing platform and with that confusion a lot of people tend to go to other lesser platforms like Fiverr. If you're looking to get illustration work I don't recommend Fiverr for several reasons and I did go over that in that other video that I'm referencing but just to summarize really quickly Fiverr the quality of the nature of those jobs are pretty crappy and the, and the pay is really low like five dollar portraits uh, that is just too cheap and I did put an asterisk on the Upwork suggestion for freelance illustrators if you're a new illustrator and you don't have a very wide um, work experience portfolio Upwork would be really good for you to try to get those first jobs that are crucial for you to develop in your career so if you're already looking for work with higher quality and at least some semblance of an income, just go to Upwork. There's no need to go to Fiverr if you can get the exact same thing in Upwork with a higher pay. And it's just more professional. The platform is designed to just have a higher caliber of jobs and clients. That is not to say that you're not going to find crappy jobs on Upwork or crappy clients, but at least your pool of possibilities for the stuff that you do want is higher on Upwork. So that's why I recommend Upwork and not Fiverr, just like I mentioned in the other video. To proceed with this tutorial, I actually reached out to my friend Ariane. They are also an illustrator and a comic book artist and they're starting off on Upwork and I figured I would check out their profile and see what we can do to improve it and we get to share that with you so that you can see how you can navigate Upwork and just set yourself up for a successful experience on that platform. So let's jump into the recent past when we met up with Ariane. Oh. I went so, to your Upwork. Oh. It's not that bad. Oh you my god! When I saw like, it was horrible. <laughs> I, I like, saw like like the the title of the meeting that it said a roast, and I was like, <laughs> oh my god! I'm you die. you called it. <laughs> not me. You have a photo. You have oh. a bio. You have like artwork already set up as a portfolio. So like honestly, you're you're almost there. There's just a little bit of tweaking that we could do and awesome. it's going to be set up. And the other thing that I wanted to mention, Ariane, is just getting that first job on Upwork is really, really hard. So Upwork, there's two, two things that you need to work on. And not you, you, but like just for anyone working Humans. on Upwork, there's two things <laughs> that you need to excel at. One is having a stellar profile and two is your proposals. The proposals are the the less fun part of it because it's like a cover letter for a job application. Like no one wants to write those. They take time. So, so true. That's why you have the, the jobs that you pick to apply for, um, make them count, but because then you're gonna be wasting your time writing these proposals. So if the job is crappy or you're not really into it, then you're just wasting your time yeah. writing these really cheesy proposals actually um, i wanted to ask you something specific about the proposals mm -hmm. do you so here here's probably something that i have done in the past which has affected me and you know getting a job sometimes i'm so lazy i'll just write like the most generic proposal that i can apply to everything and i'll just copy and paste it do you write a specific one for each one of the proposals you send yes and no so half of the proposal can be your generic message and then the other half is gonna have to be slightly tailored to the job. Mm -hmm. Depending on the job, you can tailor your commitment to writing the proposal that much. <laughs> so okay. if you see like the client writes this long description about the job that they're trying to hire for, then yeah, make the effort in writing a kind of longish or more detailed and specific proposal but if they're just saying I just want a picture a portrait of my grandmother please draw it <laughs> then all you have to do is just yeah introduction here's a couple of drawings of people just give me the job basically 
<laughs> I believe the first profile that I ever made on Upwork is, is with another email. Now we're working with nothing. Nothing. And it's going to be that just getting that first job is the hardest um, because you yeah. get judged. I think we should update your picture because you are smiling, but your smile is a closed smile. And the kind of picture that Upwork usually favors, and this is like statistics wise, are really? the like customer yeah. support photos. <laughs> <laughs> like these. Oh no. This is what you want to look like. <laughs> I don't think I've ever looked like that in my life, but I'll try. <laughs> um, so this looks more like I'm a cool chick. We don't want that as much. We want to be as generic, cheesy, and um, because we're, we're, we're not really going to be people on Upwork. We're just going to yeah. be workers. So um, if you can find a selfie where you're smiling and it and the quality doesn't even have to be that good because that just will make you look more normal and uh, approachable. See, this is perfect. Yes. <laughs> There's a white background. That's yes. perfect. <laughs> okay. So the next thing is your bio. So in terms of bio, you did great in showing details and your qualifications. What we want to do is make it sound more approachable. Okay. Those are all facts. What we want to input now is um, some warmth into it. Like, uh, I'd be happy to, uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you about what you need, things like that. Yeah, I mean, exclama exclamation point at the end. I'm like very eager to hear about your products. <laughs> Whew. We did I think it. I, I broke into a little bit of sweat there. <laughs> that was hard work. <laughs> a treat for that. <laughs> that was hard. It's really hard to sell our end to people. I get it. That And that is the hardest part of um, this. It's the bio. Mm -hmm. But they, yeah. the bio is the most important. So glad that we got that over with. I would recommend to just read it again in a couple of days or like tomorrow and just tweak it a little bit. Do not remove the enthusiasm. What I, I mean not. is <laughs> you can never just go be wrong with that. So hyped to work for people. So hyped. Noted. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> <laughs> um, your rate is good. I would say after. A couple of jobs you can raise it depending okay. on the job these this portfolio i would recommend to gear your portfolio into the categories that you want to work in so instead of it being project-based make mm -hmm. it category based so have one category featuring your best comic book work and another category for book covers and other categories that you want to do. The so, reason why is because you have agree. to think like a client. When they look at your portfolio, they have their book cover job that they need to get it done. So they're going to look down and they're going to think, all right, does she have a section just for book covers? I just want to see her book, book cover covers. experience. Yeah. And unfortunately here, they're going to go into this and it's just going to be one picture or um, the picture of that one project, the client. So just have like three generic categories and then put your best work in them. It's better if I do it category based because then I can just keep adding like the new work. categorize editorial work. Would you just put like editorial work and just add the pages? The thing is, I don't see a lot of editorial work on Upwork. Editorial okay. work will be done by companies. So they're, they're not going to Upwork for it. I don't think you're going to find editorial work on here. In fact, most of these clients, they probably won't even know what editorial means. So it's probably not a world that you will explore on Upwork. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me something, what kinds of categories do you show people? Book covers, mm -hmm. logos, mm -hmm. other categories that I see here. I mean, these are just like normal people putting out these job openings. So what do normal people usually need? And it's usually for their personal projects, their websites, um, or their gifts, like 
commissions of portraits for family members. Yeah, believe it or not, like I, I do see that a lot. I see a lot of book covers um, for their own personal book covers because self-publishing has um, just exploded in the past decade. So everyone's publishing their own books um, through Amazon and they need illustrators for that. They're not expecting like crazy book covers uh, for cheap. They just sometimes are simple um, mm -hmm. and they'll have the job openings here. So seems to me like, like I've worked just a lot about like it, obviously it's quality because you want good reviews but it's more about quantity of jobs that you can get and like the turnout at the beginning can, yeah. yes at the beginning unfortunately it's quantity without getting bad reviews <laughs> <laughs> if you satisfy the client you're gonna be fine i've seen a lot of comic book uh commissions as well i've seen character design commissions and again these are all from normal people normal people uh commissioning for their personal projects so with that in mind that's how you tailor your profile um you're not gonna have corporate jobs here you might want to add um book covers i think book covers is one of them Oh, it is. Yeah. Nice. I don't think I've added comics. So that's, that's, I can't believe I haven't. <laughs> okay. I think the seltzer is hitting me. <laughs> so we are done. So let's just go through some examples and maybe you know, apply for one or two. Ooh, I'm excited. So let's do uh, book covers. And then we're going to save it. Save the search, we'll save it. And all the filters, sure, whatever. <clears throat> On the left, you can isolate them more. But like we said, since this is literally your first job, we're going to be open to everything. Anything. <laughs> Anything and everything. <laughs> and we can look down here. So I'm looking for someone to do a commission piece of a high fantasy character, a fire moose, in a sort of hero pose, natural landscape, dramatic. I'm producing as a gift for a team member. Submit to it, right? Yeah. If you're interested in it? Why not? I am totally down for learning what a fire moose is. What's cool with Upwork is if you have a graphic design profile and an illustration profile, you can separate them. Mm -hmm. um, but you said that you would like to mostly focus on illustration, so we only have one profile, so we're going to click on illustration. So you're going to say, hi, my, <laughs> I'm an illustrator with, and a fan of fantasy. Already. Hold down with high fantasy. I love it. What no, is I think a fire that, moose? I don't know. I have no idea. Like, how does high fantasy and fire moose, like, come, I, I mean, I guess it's it's a moose with fire coming out of it or something? Yo. I don't, I mean, I'm down to trying to make that a thing, but I can't. <laughs> I mean, look, guys, if I do get the job, I'll show you what a fire moose is. Let us know. <laughs> to create your <laughs> the other thing that we're going to work on is the pricing i used to have the upwork um pro version and with the pro version you could actually see the range of what other freelancers were proposing yeah and you'd be surprised. Some of these people, they propose really low rates. Like five like, bucks. Yeah, exactly. Oh my it's God. Like, dang. Um, but don't feel deterred because it doesn't necessarily look good to provide a really low rate. And the same thing goes for really high rates. You want to be right in the middle, like sweet the sweet spot. spot's the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel confident in this proposal? I'm so getting this job. I know. Wow. It. Awesome. <laughs> We're gonna submit it. Boom. Done. 
here's other jobs. I, I think it would be helpful to look at the jobs to avoid. Um, cool. Yes. So we're going to look here. Book cover for girls. It's like there's no details in it at all. I mean, although they are like payment verified, but the things that are red flags are if this is their first job that they're doing, that they haven't been verified. I mean, obviously they have been verified. It's good that they have already finished one job. That's great. But you're right in that the description is really lacking. So that means that if you do accept this job, they could uh, not understand the amount of work that they're asking for. And then they're inevitably not gonna be happy with the job and they're gonna give you a bad review. Because at the end of the day, these first couple of jobs, what is gonna be more important is not the pay, it's the review. So if you can finish your first couple of jobs with a perfect score, then you'll be like, good. Um, so gotcha. when you're looking for these jobs, yeah, you want to look for jobs that you want to do, but you also want to do the jobs that, you know, you'll be able to accomplish, deliver um, yeah. yeah, deliver. Exactly. Another thing that's really cool about Upwork when you're looking for jobs is so we found this job, right? We're not really interested in it because the description's really light. Um, they don't have a lot of past experience working with clients. So you really don't know what kind of client you're working with. Uh, and this is a book cover. So a book cover could be a lot of work or it could be very little work. And so you don't really wanna risk it um, for your first couple of jobs. But what's really cool about Upwork is that it'll suggest you similar jobs at the bottom. So Ooh. if that job is not necessarily good, um, just scroll down and it'll the algorithm is going to recommend similar jobs that will have usually better prospects. Um, so for example, 15 illustrations for a children's book and cover. You have a number of illustrations, like that's already sounding great. Yeah. And let's look at this person. Um, nothing too complicated. Please send portfolios. Beautiful. This person already has like some expectations in involved. 150, that's really, really low for 15 images for children's yeah. books. But you could um, recommend, uh, you could propose a higher price if um, they're flexible. You never know. I've plenty of times I've uh, negotiated a higher rate and they've accepted it. Don't be discouraged by yeah. a fixed price. It could, they, they might be flexible. Um, or these 15 images, depending on what they want, it, they, it could be like really simple stuff. So yeah, yeah. maybe 150 is kind of reasonable for. I mean, they could might as well be icons or something like that, you know, like something right. very simple. And look That's at all these lot. stars. This is a perfect job to apply for. Not perfect because there's not a lot of description, but it's worth trying out. Yeah. Um, let's save it so that you can apply for it later if you'd like to say I'm interested in this job but like most of my work that I have is not specific to children's book books what would you recommend for me to do in the proposal regarding like examples to send um say that and just be honest that you haven't worked on children's books in the past so you don't have work to provide but that you would love to venture in there and work with them on designing it but you've seen an example of just there's so many, so many of these jobs. Um, you just need to find the right one. Oh, this one's a thousand. And here you have to create a storyboard. Um, six, eight week time frame, weekly status updates. Wow, this person is a professional. Yeah. They were given a great review from a freelancer. So yeah. that's a pretty great. I actually really appreciate clients that are very communicative. Like they always want to like do back and forths and yeah. give feedback is like that just makes it so much easier than somebody who's like just do it and yeah. then you deliver and it's like no I don't like it what don't you like I don't know I just don't like it <laughs> yeah because otherwise you're in the dark oh um, yes so I'm gonna save this one for you as well thank you but yeah that's pretty much it just make sure that your proposal is divided in two parts one is your introduction and you pretty much repeat part of the description of what the 
project is. And then the, the second half is you talking about your qualifications and attach work that is relevant to the project. That's mm. it. You don't have to write a paragraph. You don't, in fact, don't write a paragraph. They're not going to want to read all that. Just short and sweet, but make it relevant and you should be good to go. Because at the end of the day, your work should speak for itself, um, mm -hmm. but you just need to give it context um, in the proposal. So yeah. cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm ready. I'm ready to rock up work. Ready to make rumble. <laughs> well, I'm so ready to make that fire moves happen. Like, <laughs> oh my God. I, I so look forward to getting a response from that person. I'm just like so curious to make something weird like that. Like I'll specialize myself in making the weirdest commissions possible. You'll find them. It'll be like, please draw a picture of my haunted grandmother's photo. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Like, as long as this is work, I'm yeah. totally fine with that. <laughs> Thank you, Ariane, for Thank subjecting you. yourself to be a little upwork guinea pig. And uh, it really wasn't as bad as you thought it would be. It was pretty great. I had yeah, it was great. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> And that was pretty much it for our meeting. I hope I went over everything that seems kind of confusing about Upwork. If there are still questions, please leave a comment down below. If you want to support my own work and this channel, I actually have a Ko-fi page. Definitely check that page out. And if you're not following me on YouTube, go ahead and follow. I'll be continuing to post as much as I can and I really do appreciate any type of support. So if you're already following me, thank you and just thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!